Do you know what one of the most effective strategies for increasing sales is? It's creating FOMO, the fear of missing out. When you're selling tickets for an event or access to a cohort training, you can use the date of the event to create urgency and to encourage people to take action. But it's also human nature to just wait until the last minute to buy tickets. And there's nothing more frustrating than not knowing if you'll be able to fill up your event or attract enough students to make your course worth your while. And that is where the technique you'll discover in this video comes into play. I'll show you how to create urgency, not once, not twice, but three times to fill up your attendance list faster. And the best thing is that you can run it on autopilot. So check this out. We've got an online course for sale here. And the very best price we can offer this course at is $99, which is the super early bird price. And we've made sure to note that the price is going to go up on March 1st. Then on March 1st, the price on this sales page goes up to $149. And instead of calling this super early bird, now we're calling it early bird pricing. And the note says that prices are going to go up on March 14. Then on March 14, the price is $199. And the page says that enrollment is going to close on March 30. Let me show you how to create this on your site using the new conditional display feature. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, be sure to do that. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So one of the best ways to increase conversions when you're selling an info product is to use scarcity. Instead of simply posting your course for sale on your website and letting people purchase your course or membership anytime they want, we have found that if you limit the enrollment window and warn customers that the opportunity to purchase is going to disappear, that scarcity drastically increases conversions. And now with our new conditional display feature, you can take things a step further. So here's what we're going to be putting together today. I've got a sales page here that I've built using Thrive Architect. And at the bottom of it is a pricing section. So we are going to create three different versions of this section to reflect three different prices for our online course, but they're all going to exist on the same sales page. Now there's four things that I would like to change in this section when we switch from one price level to another. So I would like to change the actual price that the customer is going to pay. I would also like to show the amount of the discount they're going to get. And I'd like to show that underneath the price. I would also like to change the text here underneath the enroll button. And I would like to change the text at the top of this section. So I'm going to select the container that contains all four of these elements, and that would be the content box. So I'll click inside of the content box and I'll make sure that content box is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. And then I'll go to the conditional display tab on the left. So right now, this is our default display and our default display has the full price of $199. So let's go ahead and let's duplicate this default display. So we have a second display here. Let's go ahead and give that a name. So I have named this super early bird. Now, why would you want to do something like this with super early bird pricing? Well, imagine that you are a course creator and you've never created a course before. You know it's going to be a lot of work, but you also want the revenue to start coming in ASAP. So you can use this time-based price strategy to pre-sell your course at a discount and then sell your course at its regular price when launch day comes. Or you might have seen this type of pricing strategy with live events. For example, a lot of professional conferences will let you sign up for next year's conference a year in advance at a substantial discount and then they will increase prices about six months prior to the conference. And then they might increase prices again, three months before the conference. And then they'll charge an even higher price if you buy your ticket at the door. By using conditional display, you can use just one sales page and display a different version of a particular section based on display rules of your choosing. And so this new display is what we are setting up now. So let's make sure that super early bird is selected when it's orange. That is what is being shown in the editor. And let's go ahead and make edits to this content box. So I'll change the text at the top here. 
I'll also change the text at the bottom and I'm going to change the price and I'm going to add a note to reflect how much people are going to be saving when they buy at a discount. Alright, so I've made my edits to this display. Now one thing I would like to point out is that this text down here is really important so that people know that the price is going to increase and so you can build that sense of urgency. In fact, here on this page it's actually pretty subtle. You can make this more bold or make it a bright color so that it's a little more attention grabbing. Alright, so next let's select the conditions for displaying this particular display. So we're going to go to our display here and let's click the display settings. So we do want to display content and let's go ahead and add a new condition set. For when to display this, we would like to display this for a specific time and date. Next, we're going to select a specific date and we want to show this before a particular date. And let's go ahead and select that date. Now before is not inclusive of this date. So by selecting March 1st, this display will be displayed up until February 28 at 11.59 p.m. Now let's be sure to go ahead and save our conditions. Okay, so now we have super early bird and we also have our default display. Next, let's kick things up a notch and let's add an early bird display that would be displayed after the super early bird display. So if super early bird is before March 1st, we will set early bird pricing to run from March 1st to March 13. So we are creating yet another deadline to increase urgency. And in fact, when you do this, you will likely see clusters of sales right before these deadlines. So you'll know that these deadlines are indeed driving conversions. So again, make sure that the correct content box is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then go to the conditional display tab. And we already have our display here for Super Early Bird. So let's go ahead and duplicate that. And let's rename this one to just Early Bird. Let's make sure that early bird is selected. So make sure that it's orange and let's go ahead and make our design changes to this page. Again, I'll be changing the same four areas as last time, but I'll need to update them to show the next price level. All right, so next let's select our conditions for the early bird display. Let's go to the conditions settings. And again, we do want to display content. Let's add a new condition set. For when to display this, let's select a specific time and date. We do want to select a specific date and we want the date to be after and let's select March 1st. Now after refers to minute one of the specified date. So by selecting March 1st, this display will be displayed at 12 o'clock AM on March 1st. And because we want to display this condition from March 1st through March 13, well, that is a range. So we have specified when this range begins. Now let's specify when the range ends. So let's go ahead and add a rule. And we do want to specify a specific time and date. We want to select a specific date and we want this to end before and let's select March 14th. 
And that's all we have to do. Let's go ahead and save these conditions. All right, so we have all of our displays set up here. And keep in mind that once you've got everything set up, there's no manual switching involved. The displays will automatically change according to the conditions you've set. Now, as far as changing the pricing on the checkout page and making sure that people are going to be charged the correct amount when they sign up, you will have to take care of that with your payment processor. So let's go ahead and let's save our work and let's go ahead and preview it. To view the different condition sets, you can use the orange icon at the top of the page. So right now we are viewing the first set. Let's take a look at the second one. And with both of them unchecked, this is our default. All right, so now that you know how to use conditional display in Thrive Architect, you can create time-based price increases to drive more conversions. So I hope this was helpful. If you don't have Thrive Architect yet, you can get it and the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click the link in the description to learn more. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.